Mr. Foreperson, could you come up here with the verdict? Take a seat here. I just got one more formality. Can I see the verdict, please? You are you are juror number six. Is that correct? Correct. This is your signature. That is correct. Okay. Uh, I hereby enter judgment in favor of the defendant and against the plaintiff. Hold on, just hold on, just a second. Sorry. Your name is Ronald Gladden. Okay. Now, as I said weeks ago when you first entered this courtroom that this was the last trial of my career what i didn't tell you is it's also the first uh because i'm not a real judge and you're not a real four person this is not a real case what each of your fellow jurors as well as the defendant the plaintiff Bailiff Nikki, myself, we're all actors. <laughs> Everything you saw was carefully planned. What I'm saying is, it was all fake, except for one important element, you. You see, Ronald, even though the case of Hillgrove versus Morris wasn't real, there was most definitely a trial held inside this courthouse. You were presented day after day with countless challenges, responsibilities, and ethical dilemmas. You knew Mr. Marsden caused the sequestration with his paparazzi stunt, yet you never told a soul. These paparazzi, are they here for you? Uh, I believe so. I've gotten used to it, to be honest. We put you in an adjoining hotel room with Todd, whose odd demeanor and obsession with body parts were specifically intended to frighten you. Oh, hey, what's, what's up, up bud? Hey, what's up? Nice. But you didn't shut him out. You welcomed him into your room and into your non-optimally designed heart. You refused to accept Ken's two thousand dollars, even though you beat him at Ute Fair and Square. I promise I will owe you. No, 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 no. Which, by the way, all those rules made up didn't exist. You took the blame for Marsden's giant ship. <laughs> So that was you, huh? It might have been. Mm, obviously. Ronald, the list goes on and on. And perhaps it should surprise no one then that you accepted the job of foreperson, a job you didn't even want, and you rose to that challenge as well. You used your innate sense of compassion and reason to lead a jury to a just verdict. He specifically said that these tanks had been moved, and Lonnie and I did witness this. Just as you considered all the evidence against the defendant during his trial and decided he wasn't liable, well, we've considered all the evidence presented during your trial. And we've decided that you, Ronald Gladden, are a hero. In recognition of your service, your kindness and strength of character, I hereby award you the sum of $100,000. Congratulations, Ronald. What? This case is now adjourned. Are you being serious? Congratulations. Oh my God. No I'll even blow the gavel if you want. These are actors? Guys, come on up. I love you, bud. Moving on. Are you kidding? What? Lonnie, too? Oh, you suck. <laughs> no way. Bro. So now what? We're going to show you. Are you a real cop? No. no. <laughs> God damn it. Ronald was like so in it, but then he stopped and took a moment with me and was like, so you're not a real cop? And I was like, not, not even a chance. That meant so much to me, just because it was like, I wanted to be the best bailiff up in this joint. I'd like to think that I pick up on things and I'm pretty intuitive, but they all fooled me.